Hey, what's up? I'm Cantus Simmons, the academic guru, and welcome to another episode of Ask Cantus. This is my video platform where I answer your questions. Yes, your questions on academic success, life success, school success, or anything in those veins or in those topics. Now, uh, a lot of this content that I'm giving can also uh, be found in my book, Playing Your A-Game. It's all about how to stay motivated, remain focused, and succeed in school and life. Uh, you can simply go over to CantusSimmons.com to get access to that great resource. Uh, it's, it's a super duper book. So if you'd like to check it out, definitely do so. But today's question is from a young man by the name of Paul Odu. Paul, thank you for submitting your question. And he said, Cantus, would you suggest using one binder for all classes or one binder for every class? One more time. Cantus, would you suggest using one binder for all classes or one for every class? I guess the better question here would be, Cantus, how can I stay organized? Yes, how can I stay organized? Because regardless if you have one binder for all classes or you have one binder for each class, Paul, the key thing is staying organized. Now, you could have one binder, but in that one binder, you have it separated where you have each of your classes in the first part, the second part, the third part, the fourth part, and each part is separated by um, one of those binder sheets, okay? So you could stay organized that way. The, the cool thing about staying organized is that, yes, you want to keep all of your science topics, your science notes, your science homework, your science um, test in the same place. You want to keep all of your math in the same place, all of your English in the same place. So regardless of what subject it is, the key is staying organized. Now, if you wanted a different binder for each subject, you can do that as well. So you want to stay organized. Now, here is my solution or my um, suggestion for staying organized. In that binder, together, have all of your classroom notes. Have all of those together. Don't have paper laying in your book bag or laying on your desk. Keep it all in your binder. So you have your classroom notes. Then also have your study notes, meaning you may take some notes in class, and then later on outside of class you're studying. You may mark through some things or make some, make some additional notes. Have those organized as well. Also, have a section for your homework. You know, uh, you will submit homework to teachers, and sometimes they give those homework scores back and those home, that homework back. Take those, that homework, put it in your notebook as well to stay organized. And then also, when you take tests, you take a test, you turn it into the teacher, the teacher returns the test, hopefully with a good grade. You take those tests, you put those in your notebook. So now what you have is that, you have your classroom notes, you have your study notes, you have your homework assignments, and you have your, um, your test in that same location. You're organized now. You have everything that's there so that you can consistently study on an ongoing basis to make sure you understand the information. So, Paul, regardless if you have one notebook or if you have multiple notebooks, the better question is, how do I stay organized? And hopefully that was a, uh, a great answer for you and other people watching this video. If you want to succeed in life, you, you have to stay organized. You have to know where you're going. You have to have a grip on the situation, on the class, and on the subject. So, Paul, thank you so much for submitting your questions. Now, if you're watching this video and you would like for me to answer your question uh, live on one of these videos, then simply go to askcantus.com, leave your name, your email address, and your question, and I'll make sure in one of these upcoming episodes that I'm answering your question. Remember this, there's only one game in life that counts, and that's your A-game. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.